Sony's latest addition to its T-series here is a 5.3 inch mid-ranger that is one of the slimmest handsets a brand name maker has ever done. At 7mm girth, uh, it is ready for a modeling career. This is Daniel von Fon Arena presenting the Sony Xperia T3. As with most middle-of-the-road Androids these days, the phone is outfitted with a modest quad-core Snapdragon 400 chip from Qualcomm and 1GB of RAM along with an 8MP camera sensor on the back. Sony put its design chops front and center with the T3 though, aiming to justify a $400 price tag, so let's see if it can succeed uh, in the cutthroat world of Android mid-rangers. Sony's omnibalance design language stays true to its core in the Xperia T3, with the signature metal power lock key on the side and a clear-cut rectangular form. This fashion statement of a phone is built around a metal frame that rims it from all sides uh, and has a grippy, soft-touch rear with sloping edges that make it uh, very comfortable to hold. Despite its slim profile, the phone feels very sturdy and solid in the hand, thanks to the rigid metal framing around it. The power lock key on the side as well as the metal volume rocker and the dedicated shutter key beneath it are very solid too and with a nice clicky feeling to them. About the only gripe we have with the design are the also thick bezels which make this 5.3 uh, inch handset larger than the 5.5 inch uh, LG G3. Sony outfitted the T3 with a relatively large 5.3 inch panel with uh, HD resolution returning a decent pixel density. Granted, not everything looks uh, as detailed as on those uh, 1080p displays, but for the vast majority of tasks uh, this pixel density does the job. When it comes to screen quality, however, Sony's panel takes a step back. It uh, exhibits overly cold colors. Compared to the reference, the screen uh, therefore appears bluish uh, and the color saturation is a bit off, especially with the reds and blues. The viewing angles are also pretty poor for today's standards, uh, with brightness contrast and color saturation diminishing greatly with the slightest tilt of the phone. Our biggest gripe with the display, however, is outdoor visibility. Despite the excellent peak brightness measurement, which rivals the one on the iPhone 5S, the screen reflectance coating is rather poor. It bounces light back to our eyes, uh, greatly diminishing contrast and visibility outdoors, even when the sun is not shining directly on the screen. In a typical Sony fashion, the Android uh, KitKat operating system that is driving the Xperia T3 has been skinned with uh, the Timescape interface, which has remained unchanged for quite a while now. That's not necessarily a bad thing uh, though, especially if you consider Sony's design approach. The overlay is simple, uniform and easy on the eyes. If the default theme is not to your liking, you have some choice in terms of personalization. Whether it's different themes, a different wallpaper for your lock screen or adding additional quick toggles in the pull-down notification panel. The Xperia T3 also comes preloaded with a few apps, most of which are courtesy of different Sony services. For example, Sony Select uh, is a small curated apps and themes market, and Social Life News uh, is a newsreader with a simplified yet rather laggy design. Apps like Music and Video Unlimited and even PlayStation Mobile can be found on board, and there's even a custom uh, navigation app courtesy of Garmin that is present with a free 60 days trial. It's as if all mid-rangers have gathered together this year and vowed allegiance to the quad-core 1.4GHz Snapdragon 400 chipset by Qualcomm, and the Xperia T3 is no exception. What can they do? Snapdragon 600 has been discontinued and going to the 800-801 family would require a pretty penny. This chipset, alongside 1GB of RAM, actually make the Xperia T3 performance rather acceptable, with barely a lag or stutter in the interface, though heavy 3D games will take their toll on the weak link. The phone ships with 8GB of storage, 5GB of which are user available and offers a microSD slot for storage expansion. The browsing experience with the built-in Chrome browser on the Xperia T3 is a smooth affair. Even heavier image-based websites load up quick and navigating them puts no noticeable toll on the processor. Connectivity options are plentiful too, there's LTE Bluetooth 4.0, 5GHz Wi-Fi, NFC, DONA, assisted GPS and even MHL compatibility for mirroring the T3 screen onto a bigger monitor. The usual crop of Sony-themed multimedia apps is what you'll find preloaded on the T3. As per usual, their design is pleasing and uniform and they often offer some extra functionality you won't find on stock Android. For example, the gallery is interconnected with Sony's Play Memories online service, which uh, allows you to automatically upload photos uh, and have them sync throughout all of your connected devices. The Walkman Music Player, for its part, has extras like uh, Clear Audio Plus, which automatically enhances sound clarity, not to mention that it's also hooked with uh, Sony's Music Unlimited service. Speaking of music, uh, this thin uh, loudspeaker here is of average quality with bearable strength and a bit tinny flat sound. 
The stock video player of the T3 played everything we gave it, such as DivX, XVD, MKV formats, and up to 1080p resolution in that. The player is rather bare bones in terms of options though, so if you want uh, more features, you'd have to hit the Play Store. The phone sports an 8 megapixel shooter with uh, a Sony Exmor sensor. The camera interface offers some thrills like manual scene modes, HDR photography and color effects, and there is a dedicated camera key on the side for a quick picture uptake. By quick we mean about 2 seconds from pressing the side shutter key and taking a pic. That speed metric goes down to about a second shot to shot pulse from within the camera interface itself. The default superior auto shooting mode uh, churns out uh, 5.5 megapixel snaps instead of 8 megapixel ones, so you have to go into the settings and choose uh, a 4x3 format if you want to use the full resolution. The 8 megapixel snapper might not wow you, but it takes pictures with a fine color representation and amount of detail. Granted, the colors are that saturated compared to reality, but uh, not to a unpleasant point. Shooting against a bright source produces photos that are darker than usual, even for smartphone standards, and it happens even if there is a piece of cloudy sky in the frame only. Other than that, we have no qualms about uh, the performance of the T3 shooter, it is adequate for the phone's class. Indoors, things turn a bit sadder as the Xperia T3 introduces noise in the frame and the pictures come out uh, a tad soft and mushy. The color oversaturation holds as well, but there aren't any glaring white balance mishaps. The LED flash does a pretty average job at uh, illuminating our test scene from about uh, 3 feet distance, failing to distribute the light evenly to the edges of the captured scene. As for video capture, the 1080p footage looks fine and is fluid at a steady 30 frames per second, with uh, adequate detail, accurate colors and uh, no excessive uh, artifacting. Our complaint is uh, underexposure again, just like with the stills, the video comes out rather dark uh, compared to reality. The sound picked up by the two noise cancelling mix while filming is strong and rather clean. Sony has made a well-rounded mid-ranger that shines in terms of design and performs adequately in most departments. Granted its screen uh, seems a bit re too reflective outdoors and the earpiece is not up to snuff, but the Xperia T3 offers an ultra-thin chassis that is comfortable to hold and an excellent battery life. The Catwalk Star here goes for about $400 in the States uh, or €300 Euros in Europe, which granted uh, is a mid-range price and yet would make uh, you pause if you compare it with the competition. For that kind of money you can now get the 32GB LG G2 or the Galaxy S4 which should beat the T3 in almost every aspect, save for the battery life. You can also take a long hard look at the Chinese brands that will offer you truly flagship specs for a similar price. Don't get us wrong though, with its thin yet very sturdy chassis and the excellent battery life, the Sony Xperia T3 here is still a great mid-ranger. We just advise you to wait a little bit more for the inevitable price drop, so you can save on the buyer's remorse when you compare it with the last year's flagships. This was a video review of the Sony Xperia T3 from Phone Arena. For more information about this and other handsets, you can visit us at phoneArena.com.